Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Um, I've got a really busy day today. I've got the students morning, afternoon, and evening, so I don't have a lot of time for this, but I would need you guys to help me make a decision. We need to figure out what we're gonna use and what we're, we're gonna use for the back and the side. So I'm going to show you all those different sets that I have and let you guys decide. It'll be in a the form of a poll. I'm gonna let you guys decide, assuming that you could do it pretty quick, because I don't want to wait two or three weeks to figure out what uh, sides to use or back to use or anything like that. So um, I'll give it a couple of days and after that if I don't have enough responses I'll just go ahead and make a decision myself. But as we go along building this guitar I'm going to let you guys make decisions on what we do. So um, I got to go get ready for class and I'll, I'll be back later. The first decision we have to make in any guitar build is what materials we're going to use. Uh, I've got four different sets of back and sides here that we're going to pick through. I'm going to show you examples of each one and I'm going to put that pole up and you guys are going to decide which one we're going to use. Now this is just a traditional mahogany and you can see the kind of the color it gets. As you can see the mahogany is really nice. But it's also really common. It's in all kinds of guitars all over the place. So I would rather stay with something a little bit off the beaten path, but that's really up to you guys. So that's that's a traditional mahogany. This is I gotta get some more napta here. This is cherry. You can see the, the color that the cherry will get to. Cherry is really a beautiful wood. I love how on the flat grain stuff you get all that swirly kind of a texture in the in the grain and I love all those little block flex those are natural and, and they're in just about every piece of cherry and it has some nice little sap wood there so that's nice or it might be uh, better to have a pattern like that just uh, depends on everybody's taste this is not really a traditional wood this is actually called yellow heart and I don't think that you're gonna be able to see this in the camera, but these dark and light um, stripes through here change with the angle that the light hits them. So hopefully something in there is changing for you. But anyways, that's really cool just because of that. So it's not really traditional wood, but I've made guitars out of it and it, they sound really good. You can see that the yellow heart really makes for a striking guitar. It's just really catches your eye. But yellow is not everybody's color, so I can understand if you don't want to pick this one. And this is walnut. And you can see it's got a really nice little figure in that. Uh, the only problem with this is it's only big enough to make a three quarter size guitar. We can't make a full size guitar out of this. So if you guys pick this, we're going to be building a three quarter size guitar. The face in that walnut is just absolutely amazing. I don't know if you noticed, but there's like a little baby alien in the walnut piece that I have picked out for you guys. So this is our four choices. Uh, we've got the walnut, we've got the yellow heart, we got cherry and we got mahogany. So let me know. Make sure you subscribe and share and post this thing all over the place so we can get a bunch of people involved in this build. Um, <clears throat> I'll talk to you later.